Why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Hmm. Oh, Paimon knows! Combine the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Oh, wow. Your first guess and you got it absolutely... wrong. Why I'm not surprised? Why are you looking disappointed yeah! at him? Oh, uh, wait! Seriously? That wasn't it? A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. Yep, there's no such things as bad publicity. Look at EA. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh, how about we confiscate all the copies? <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. But that means there's nothing we can do. Well, I've been thinking. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. It has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm... I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. So we have to do a book about wishes of characters. How ironic. I bet. That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next next big thing. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Smash our rival's sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Wait, Miko. So you want us to write a novel? Oh, writing is not my forte. <laughs> well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process. But let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Anyway, there is a writer submission event going on at the moment. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I'll be at Uyu Restaurant. Find me there when you're done. I will assemble a team, and we can work while we eat. Okay, let's see what's in the trending page. Let me open Twitter. I think this is... I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big, ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. Something that kind of fades away because of Isekai? These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. <laughs> Again, a stab on those stuff. But uh, that kind of is Isekai in general. Just a copy of the another with uh, just a slightly gimmick. Although, again, I don't want to say all are bad, but there are a few gems around there. But, yeah. The only recent book worth mentioning is A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. Okay, 
Okay, we have the anatomy. Let's see. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. Really? What did I say? Hmm, I want to see. Actually, I don't know any light novel that has horrible writing but has great illustrations. I cannot think of any because I was the adaptation, not the source material. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artist you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. The illustrations in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. Okay, I don't know about this style, but I guess hmm, it depends. Oh, let's see what we this one. I'll be honest, I read light novels for the cheap thrills. Cheap thrills? I wonder why. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn-out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss, and ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything, it's just a little slow-paced for me. Huh. Okay, this is new. Because normally, even the protagonist is like super branchy, very change or I don't know, stuff just happened and yeah, he's him now. Hmm, I didn't feel that. By contrast, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, where the protagonist is super strong right from the get go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action packed right from page one. The protagonist is a kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. Okay, I wanted to say something, but I just forget it. What did he just say a moment ago before that? Then it, I forgot what I want to say. more to light novels than Paimon realized. <sighs> Let's go tell our findings to Yai Miko. The Yai Publishing House has held many writer's submission events to date. The winner gets a huge amount of publicity. It's been the ticket to fame for a lot of authors. If you've got a good idea for a story, you definitely don't want to miss out. Uh, I really have this kind of disappointment on no, actually make me a little sad because I have my story, but I don't actually have the time to actually make them. Ah, there you are. Let me introduce the team. <laughs> Wait, what was that? You guys said that like uh, something black came out of this area. What was that? You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Shigeru is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> nope. Now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. Oh, for me, I thought we have a choice. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? 
For example, we know we need an original core concept. But how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune. But to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Mondstadt and Lilith! Hmm... But that would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh... Is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. I think now I... I don't know why, but now I can see my... one of my boys, because he can do... I know what I'll call visual novels. And I can imagine this kind of stuff. He has a team. Although I think he, he actually do alone and just commission art. But this is kind of something that I wish myself to have a team to help me out in my little... Or maybe in my bigger story to say. But so far this is actually better somehow that Ball's quest. This one and this one with the shoes. Mm, I want to see the reaction, but in the same time, I want this to actually be good. It's now like we can replay the cutscene, don't we? The dragon and the gun adventure. Mm, I feel that's reference to two dragons. Mm. I want to go with Duggins. This sounds like a great one! Let's see here. The protagonist arrives in Mondstadt for the first time to the sight of a dragon flying around and wreaking havoc on the city. With the help of some trusty companions, the protagonist successfully defeats the dragon. But then, the dragon suddenly turns into a beautiful young woman! Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah, like, huh? I don't remember that. Although I'd not be surprised they're gonna turn Tovala into a character. They almost did it with Kami Tenno. Human, let us work together to build a better future. The love story between human and dragon begins today? Okay, who still my fanfic about my dragon Unexpected <laughs> development? <laughs> what happened to the Grand Adventure? Okay, what's with this fish? <laughs> Sorry, but I need to take a minute. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> okay, okay, I try to say myself. Oh. <laughs> okay, just a second. What wish this face? <laughs> okay, okay. Calm down. <laughs> okay, calm down. You laugh too much, so you know. <laughs> what? But that's so misleading. Wait. Uh, oh yeah, he just said that the protagonist, protagonist is called like that, so it's kind of like a joke. Hmm. Out of a maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. The story certainly goes in an unorthodox direction, and the dragon girl sounds destined to be a hit character. Approved. What the heck? 
Hmm. Good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. I don't remember when I shut up my heart. Let's continue on. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Hey, chapter two. Huh? Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, chapter two, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Hmm? What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Uh, really? Gun blank? Really? You go all that out with that story about... And you... Pull out the tongue out. And now you blank? What about Liwe? Why here? Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. Before it came to what? What happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. It's your arch nemesis for life. Appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. I don't know why, but this story just hit in the home for me. Although it replaced writing block with burnout or something like that. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I cannot remove this smile on my face now. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Your treat? Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course, everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. Then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now! For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> okay, I cannot stop laughing. I just have a smile on my face now. Oh, oh! Does this mean your inspirations come back? Mm, I cannot choose, I cannot choose all this. Uh, I just know this is gonna be too funny. Consider that in the previous video, when that's gonna be, I have Jan Lee just saying his line. Let's go with this one. Let's see now. The protagonist arrives in Liyue and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. Only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. With the help of the Qixing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. Hmm. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? Hmm. I give it a 9.8. Ooh, we get The better. story is fun and action-packed with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. All right, well, let's just hope Jean Lee doesn't mind. Great. Well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai.
Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Stop this. Come on, let's get rid of the... <laughs> okay, what do you... With this... Farewell, little hunter decree. Hmm. Any mini mini more. Stuff this. Is that actually a uh, line? Hmm. Hmm. Clearly, very closely based on your own personal experience, with no major changes at all. That's fine. Since it's something that took place in Inazuma. It might actually be more interesting to readers if it's grounded in the truth. One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the Omomori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Whoa! So we're really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. Okay, we have to bring out Alberto Engo. Those who are gonna help out. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. Don't we already know about Hina already? Why is this another case when the Hina event don't matter? Ugh, this is kind of a sad thing. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. Well, this was something I didn't knew I can laugh so hard. Welcome to Uyu Restaurant. Please talk to me. I never was. I never was in this place. I didn't know it existed. Okay, what do you have to say? Okay, I guess this is just a guess. Or someone that works here. I see something sign. Oh wait, this is the phone. Hmm, add a little foreshadowing here. Uh, call back to the first chapter there. Call back via contrast, that is. Uh, plot twist here, obviously. Now, um, where's the best to explore the central theme? Wow, she seems really in the zone. Let's not disturb her. If you say so. Okay, where's the other two? Ah. Don't worry. This story has a very clear narrative structure. Junkichi will definitely be able to work his magic on the writing front. Oh, yeah! How did it go with that incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? Did you manage to make a wish in the end? <laughs> nope. On the first day, Junkichi couldn't memorize the incantation because it was too long. On the second day, he didn't wake up in time and midnight came and went. Oh, then, on the third day... Mr. Shikiru, I thought we agreed not to speak of this. 